Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I just wanna show you a quick comparison between the Echo Show first generation versus the Echo Show second generation. The Echo Show 5 can best be described as a smart display as it performs a wide variety of functions. So you can of course use it for Amazon's Alexa, so you can use it to control your smart home or ask it questions. You can watch videos on this, listen to music, podcasts, or even use it as an alarm clock. And the reason I wanted to make this video is because if you're coming from an Echo Show 5 first generation, is it worth it to upgrade to the second generation? Taking a look at the front of the device, you can see that you'd be very hard pressed to figure out which one is which just based on looking at them. They do share the same 5.5 inch display at a resolution of 960 by 480. And the only real difference between the first and second generation on the front is the shutter. As you can see on the first generation, it is round, and on the second generation, it is square. Now the big difference on the front here is that those cameras are different, so there is an upgrade here. You have a one megapixel camera on the front of the first generation, and a two megapixel camera on the second generation. Taking a quick look at the side profile, you can see that they are exactly alike and there is no difference. You can see from the side that they have the same footprint and same exact design. If we take a look at the top, you can see the button layout is identical as well. You can see we have the mute button on both and we have the volume buttons as well and the shutter and the two microphones and they are exactly the same on both. And these are both the charcoal model. However, you will notice that the newer model is a little bit darker than the old. Now looking at the back, you can see that there are some pretty big differences. You can see that on the old model, we have a power connector, a micro USB, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So you could connect an external speaker or speakers to the back of your Echo Show 5. However, on the new model, you can see that that is now omitted. So you do still have the power connector, the micro USB, but no more external speaker jack. One other difference you'll notice is the color of the bottom of the foot. So both of them do have a rubber foot on the bottom. However, the first generation has a light gray color while the new one has a black color. One change between the two generations that I'm not really sure I understand is the change in plug design. As you can see, the first generation uses a black design with the Amazon logo. It is shiny as you can see and it is 15 watts. And the entire cable is black as well with a barrel plug. The second generation goes for a white plug that is longer and is not glossy, but is still 15 watts. It uses a white cable and a barrel plug as well. Fun fact, you can use both of them on either model because they are the same wattage and they are the same plug. And no matter which color of the second generation you get, it will be a white plug. So hopefully Amazon changes that in the future. Now you might be wondering, are there any under the hood changes? Well, you'd be surprised to hear that no, there really isn't because the exact processor that's in the first generation is also in the second generation. That processor being a MediaTek MT8163. Now there is a stand you can buy for either of these that will raise it up a little bit and it also swivels. You may be wondering, if I have a first generation that has the first generation stand, Will that work on the second generation Echo Show 5? So here it is with the first generation. As you can see, it swivels here. And I bought this with the first generation. Here is our second generation. Does it work? The answer is yes, it does work. So if you already have a stand for your first generation Echo Show 5, you do not need to buy another one. Just use that same one on the new one. Now, the Echo Show 5 does come in different colors. The first generation only came in charcoal and glacier white. The second generation also comes in charcoal and glacier white, but they did add another color, deep sea blue. And I do have that here. So as you can see, it does have the same uh, black bezel, but we have a blue frame going all the way around and it looks really, really nice with the blue fabric. So this one uh, I absolutely love and uh, it's a nice difference from the first generation. Now, although there are no differences between the displays and the speakers on this, I'll still give you a video test and a speaker test between both of them. And here is the same video at full brightness on both the Echo Show first generation and second generation. And as you can see, the colors and vibrance look exactly the same. All right, here's a quick sound sample from both. So here is the first generation. And on 
the second generation. One other difference between the first and second generation is the second generation does have the ability to have its camera viewed remotely via the Alexa app. The first generation does not have that ability. So if you do have one of these in your house and you want to monitor things that are going on, you can view that via the Alexa app. Uh, just pop in and view the camera there. And a quick summary. So the things that are the same on this, you have the same exact display, same speaker, same design, and same processor. And the differences, you have a two megapixel over a one megapixel camera on the second generation, a square shutter on the second generation and a circular shutter on the first, a different power cable on the second generation that is white across all colors and is a little bit longer than the previous generation. You do have a deep sea blue model, which looks really, really nice, as well as the ability to uh, access the camera remotely via the Alexa app on the second generation. And one interesting difference is the removal of the 3.5 millimeter headset jack, so you cannot use an external speaker directly connected to the back of it like the first generation. However, of course, you still have the ability to use Bluetooth instead. So as you can see, there are minor differences and a lot of it is still the same. These are great, and if you are looking to buy one, I would definitely go for that second generation. They are on sale right now for $34.99, so definitely worth it to check it out. If you're coming from a first generation, unless you absolutely need that better video camera or the ability to remote in, uh, I would not recommend upgrading because the first generation has everything the second generation has and still works just fine. Now, one thing to note, they do have a pretty good trade-in deal on the first generation. So if you wanna trade your first generation in, they give you 25% off right away. And that does work on the sale price. So $34.99 minus 25%. And then in addition to that, once you trade the first generation in, you get up to $20 if it's working and in good shape. So if you use it next to your bed, it's probably in good shape, send it in, you get another 20 bucks and they give it to you right off the bat. So in essence, when I bought my second generation, I only paid $7 plus tax, it worked out. So if you're into upgrading and you wanna upgrade it, you definitely can for a very cheap price. However, it's really not necessary because they are very similar. Now, when we look at the third generation, when that comes out, I'm sure that there will be pretty stark differences between the first and third, and that might be a more worthy upgrade. But anyway, guys, just wanna give you a quick look at the differences between the two, and hopefully, if you're looking at the Echo Show 5, this gives you a little bit of insight into what you might be looking at. But anyway, guys, there you have it, a quick look at the differences between the Echo Show first and second generation. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.